Well, Psalm 111 to 13 all start with the great word hallelujah. They are celebrations of who God is and what he does. And in this first Psalm 111 verse 2, we find this. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. The Cavendish uh, Laboratory in Cambridge took this as its motto, first in Latin in the original building and then in the 1970s in the Coverdale uh, translation uh, in, in English so that people could read and understand. The foundations of science are based on the principle that God made the world distinct from him, ex nihilo, out of nothing, and governs it according to principles and rules that can be explored and understood and followed. The world makes sense. And Christians understood that historically. Sadly, in our modern day, there's been a split between the foundation of recognising the maker and just looking at the way it works independently of him. Of course, that's perfectly valid in that you can look at the world distinct from God because the world is not God. But it misses one of the great things, <laughs> but it misses the greatest thing, which is that God is the maker of all these things. And when you study his works and take delight in them, it expands your horizons beyond anything that mere science can give. And it's a shame that science has evolved in many people's minds into scientism as if science could explain everything but you can't have an integrated view uh, of the universe and of life and a comprehensive understanding and worldview without knowing the creator as well and that's one of the wonders and wonder is the word verse four he caused his wondrous wondrous works to be remembered and the word for wonders there it means the supernatural activities of God it could mean how God delivered his people from slavery in Egypt brought them through the passing of the Red Sea and then supplied food for them every day in fact it tells us here in verse 5 he provides food for those who fear him the daily distribution of food is not just something that happens but comes from the hand of God and the heart of God the generosity of God and so you can trace your daily intake of food to the father in heaven who supplies richly and that's part of the way that God does things he blesses the world, whether we recognize him or not. And that's why at the end of the psalm, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Because when you see it and discern it, it's not just that you've got a full belly, but you have a full heart. And it can overflow with a sacrifice of praise and great joy. And that joy is what we were created to experience ourselves and then to channel in to the praises of God so that as the psalm starts we can end with a hallelujah.